guys and welcome back to my channel you already know the vibes if you're new drop a comment down below and let me know where you're coming from if you're a returning sub thank you so much for rocking with me because here we are we're at video number 100 head over to my instagram because i just hit a hundred thousand followers and i'm yeah i'm over the moon i'm overjoyed of course because all your support means so much to me and now that i'm doing my 100th video it feels yeah like perfect timing so it's a celebration meal we're going to be making i'm not even going to go into it too much you guys can see the thumbnail you can see there's a lot going on but it's going to be flavors nice good home cooking to make you feel good during the winter so stay tuned get comfortable like i said drop a comment down below and follow me on all my socials chanel a wallace on tiktok and food with chanel on everything else the ingredients list will always be in the description down below stay tuned get comfortable sit back relax and watch me make my 100th celebration dinner video here are some of the ingredients I will be using today. We've got some cabbage, we've got scotch bonnet, garlic, ginger, spring onion, fresh thyme, normal onion and some chicken thighs. So I'm going to list these all in the description along with the seasonings that you will need. Let's get straight into the first part of the video which will be to season the chicken. First thing I want to do is season my clean chicken. So if you don't know how to season, sorry, if you don't know how to clean chicken, go onto my channel. I've definitely got at least one video of how to clean chicken on there. And this is about seven or eight chicken thighs. We're going to season them all up together, but I'm going to split this in half because part of it is going to be for one part of the dish and then another half of the chicken is going to be for another part. So yeah, keep up and you'll, yeah, you'll see what I'm coming up with. I'm actually making it up kind of as I go, which is the most interesting part. So yeah, stay to the end of the video to know what I want. So the first thing we're going to season with is some chicken seasoning. Add a teaspoon of that. And we're seasoning this very lightly because of what's going to be done to it, okay? Garlic granules, we're going to add another teaspoon of that. Then we're going to add some ground black pepper. A teaspoon of that as well. One of my favourites, Maggie liquid seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use um, light soy sauce and just use the same amount. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this in here. And then just wash your hands or put gloves on. I've run out. So just mix this all in. And like I said, this isn't the only seasoning that's going to go onto the chicken. We're going to add some fresh seasoning as well that we're going to blend up whilst our chicken just sits in these seasonings. And then that way you can rest this in the fridge. Let it marinate for a little bit whilst we get everything else prepped. So once your chicken looks like this, just cover it, put it in the fridge and leave it to marinate for a little bit whilst we do our wet seasoning. Now I've just gone to get my mini chopper. Well, I guess it isn't a mini version, but it's a chopper. So anything that you have that you could use to blend use that so this is mine and then i've also picked up some ketchup and then over here we have our scotch bonnet spring onion fresh ginger and fresh garlic before i blend up anything i'm also going to grind some pimento seeds or allspice berries so i'd say get about a teaspoon a good amount like this and you just want to grind them up if you don't have this or you don't have whole pimento seeds or allspice berries you can use um ground pimento and use about a teaspoon and a half because you still want it to be quite 
you know, quite strong. And basically, if I zoom in, then all you want to do is grind these up. And then what happens is they open up and all that flavour comes out. So it will be more stronger than if you just use ground pimento. So that's why I like to do this. But you don't have to. Like I said, you can use um, ground pimento rather than having to do this yourself. We're just going to do that for a little while until it's like this and then I'm going to rest that to the side. So, to start with, what I'm going to blend up, I'm going to blend some of these spring onions. So I chopped up two large ones, so let's say you just half it and put half the amount in there. And then with the garlic, you're going to put all of the garlic in. And that is two large cloves of garlic. And then this is about a tablespoon of chopped ginger. Add all of that in. This is about a quarter of a scotch bonnet, which is about a teaspoon. Um, don't add this in yet. So just leave that to the side and then we're going to focus on this. Oh, and we're also going to add just a little bit of chopped onion. Not even a quarter under that because we want to save this and this is one small onion so use about a quarter of it if that you might need to give it a little shake because some mini choppers you'll still have like big chunks in there so just give it a little shake okay and then that should be okay what we're going to do I'm just going to take out like two tablespoons of this mixture and then I'm just going to put it to the side. Then we're going to continue with this. Add the chopped scotch bonnet, that's going to go in. All of that and then also the ground pimento that we ground up here, that's going to all go in. And this is kind of the basis of a jerk marinade, basically. Pimento, garlic, ginger, spring onion, normal onion, and a few other bits. If you want to know how I do my proper jerk marinade, I have a recipe for that on my channel as well. But this is like my quick version, basically, that I'm going to do. Okay, and then we've got some fresh thyme which I'm just going to break off some of it into there because I'm still going to use some more when I'm cooking the chicken as well so I'm just going to take off a bit of it and just pull it into this then we're just going to take our mixture out this smells just like oh everything that you need for a jerk marinade so you've got the garlic scotch bonnet thyme ground pimento onion that's all in there like this but we're going to take it out so this is like a quick way just to make a little jerk if you haven't got any paste at home, I'm going to add a few more things to it as well. So I'm just going to scrape this into a separate bowl. And this marinade is for like a jerk barbecue chicken, which I'm going to spread, spread, which I'm going to shred and then put over a baked potato, which to me sounds like heaven because it's cold right now and to have something that's soft and fluffy along with something that's sweet and spicy Oof. so don't worry about the scotch bonnet in this because we're going to add quite a few other things to make it sweet the first thing you need is some brown caster sugar and i'm going to add a tablespoon of that to the mix you also need some ketchup i preferably when i'm doing this like to use ketchup that's about to finish obviously you may not have a bottle that's about to finish so I think I'm going to end up actually using all of this. So what I'll just do is take the lid off. And this is about two tablespoons of ketchup. 
and then rather than just throwing this away i'm going to put a bit of water in there about this much water just to take out the excess and build up this sauce and give that a shake and then i'm just going to pour that in here as well along with about a tablespoon of maggi and we also need these two we're going to need a bit of dark soy sauce and some gravy browning if you don't have gravy browning it's okay it's not as like crucial that you have it but if you do have it yeah add it tablespoon of soy sauce then with the browning you really don't need a lot if you've cooked with this then you'll know just add half a teaspoon if that just a little drop yeah that's fine we just want to give this a mix and this is my quick jerk marinade so this is when we're going to separate the chicken and i'm going to add this or some of this not all of it because this is actually quite a lot but i'm going to add this to the chicken and then leave that to marinate for a little bit and yeah and then we'll have some jerk barbecue chicken i'm going to separate our chicken now and add this to it i'm just going to take out a few pieces of chicken i'm thinking so we've got one two three four five six seven hmm. see this is interesting now this is like a game show because i'm legit making this up as i go so let me think let me think let me think okay i'm gonna do three pieces in here and then we've got four pieces in here wonderful so i'm gonna put this to the side and then we've got our four pieces of chicken here i'm gonna take this marinade and add one two three add three tablespoons to it and then i'm going to save this in the fridge you could put this on some chicken wings some more chicken you could put it on some lamb the longer that you leave this to sit it's just going to get even more spicy and delicious yeah it's going to be yum a little trick if you have no gloves and you're about to mix something with scotch bonnet i wouldn't recommend using your hands get an um a sandwich bag or a freezer bag and then you really want to be careful you can hold the handle and then go like this i think i'm even going to add a bit more browning to this i think yeah i'm going to add a little bit more brown into this just to give it some color even though it's got color now like look at that nice and seasoned but i want this a bit darker so I'm going to add a little bit more and then I'm going to leave it to marinate whilst I start cooking the other bits. So I've mixed the chicken in with a bit more browning so as you can see it's a bit darker. Um, I added about a quarter teaspoon so just don't go crazy. You always add a little bit at a time and then yeah your chicken should look like this. You can either put it in an oven tray or an oven proof dish but you need to put down some baking paper or foil one of the two because what you want you're going to keep all of the juices and seasoning from this when we're going to shred our chicken we basically need all that extra flavor so i've used baking paper this time but you can use either or like that and make sure you get all those extra seasonings that are in the bowl Pour that over the top. And then you're going to bake this in the oven. We're going to bake it at around 170 and we're going to check on it in 20 minutes because we don't want it to be dry, but we also don't want it to not get its colour. So yeah, 170 for about 20 minutes and then we're going to check on it. Also, I totally forgot 
bake two medium potatoes for an hour at 200 and just put them to the side. So I did these a little while ago and what I like to do, let them cool down so that it's easier to handle when we're going to do the next part of the recipe, which is obviously for our loaded potatoes. So yeah, just bake two potatoes and set them aside until your chicken is ready. Here we have the chicken that was just seasoned with the dry seasoning and some of the fresh seasoning. And then what I'm going to do, just to give this some colour as well, is add a bit of this browning because I'm going to cook this with some cabbage. So rather than, you know, you just having steamed cabbage, I'm thinking a little, almost like stew chicken cooked down with cabbage. Give your chicken a mix with the browning on, with those seasonings as well, and just kind of get it all mixed in. If you have tomatoes, as in like fresh tomatoes, chop one up and add that into this as well. That'll make it really nice. But I don't have one, so we're just gonna leave it at this. Oh, and add in fresh thyme, and we won't add those onions yet. We're just gonna mix in the thyme, because I really want the thyme to infuse in the chicken. And I've got some spring onion there if I need it, but I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Then you wanna get a pan that gives a good sear on chicken. That'll brown it off very well. And you can either use oil or butter. I'm gonna use butter because it's gonna steam the cabbage a bit as well, like all those seasonings at the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna get about a teaspoon of butter and just melt that down. And just melt the butter like that over a medium high heat. And once it's melted down, you're just gonna add your chicken, the thyme, and all of that seasoning into the pan. And keep it on one side for a few minutes and don't touch it so that it can get a nice brown on there. And once it's brown on one side for a couple of minutes, just flip it over. And don't worry guys, I'm not scraping the bottom of the pot with the fork. I'm just gently using it because my tongue just broke, which is annoying, but we're still gonna keep going. We're still going. I wish you guys could smell the flavours coming from this. And one thing that I like is it's mainly fresh seasonings that we've used, which is good. So then once both sides are brown, just turn the heat down to low and keep it like that. Then I want you to add about a tablespoon of butter, it's quite a bit, like this. Let that melt down. Because we're going to make our little seasoning butter, which is going to also cook down our cabbage and make it really tender and flavorful whilst also cooking this chicken. At this point, I'm going to add in the rest of my chopped spring onions and my other fresh onion as well and just get them soft alongside the chicken. And then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water, not too much about that much just to get it going turn the heat up to medium because it should have been on a low so put it on medium low just to get it bubbling up a little and then cover it and leave this for about five ten minutes 
depending on how big your heat is you may actually need to turn it down to low because you don't want it to be doing too much this is fine just leave it to simmer and we'll come back and check on it it's been about five minutes and this is how the chicken looks So as you can see, the onions have started to get softer. The chicken has got a nice color on there, which is good. So I've got some cabbage here that I've chopped and washed. And I'm literally just going to add it to the top. And you can add however much you want. You basically just want to cover the whole pot like this and then turn it all the way down to the lowest heat so that this can just slowly get tender and cook and those chicken thighs should be fine because they're still quite juicy and they're in that butter as well so yeah you should have like a bed of cabbage like that put your lid on top and leave it alone we're going to check back on this in about 15 minutes it's been about 10 15 minutes so i thought Let's check on our cabbage. As you can see, look, the cabbage is getting softer. It's not fully there though. But what I want to do now is kind of push it into that stock underneath it. So what I might even do is get these pieces of chicken flip them and put them on top so now all the juice from the chicken can cook into that cabbage like this and it smells wonderful I've never done cabbage like this but I can guarantee I will be doing it like this again so yeah, just rest the chicken on top of it now. It should have that nice brown colour because you've kept it on one side. And then put the lid back on and it should take about another 15-20 minutes but just leave it on low and let it do its thing. And a lot of that mixture will reduce, go into the cabbage and give it a lot of nice flavour. So here is the jerk barbecue chicken after about 25 minutes right where you want it to be with the juice still there but i need the sauce to have some depth so add any barbecue sauce that you have to be honest the cheaper the better because you don't want too much to be going on because you're gonna you know you've added all your seasonings and that so just squirt it over the top and then get yourself a little brush and just brush it over the chicken dip it into that juice as well a little bit because that juice will reduce down and get a bit thicker with some of the barbecue sauce in there and then we're going to put it back in the oven at 170 again because i don't want that chicken to dry out and we're going to check on it in about 15 20 minutes don't turn the chicken over as well just leave it as is like this so yeah so you guys probably can't see but yeah back in the oven 170 for about 15 20 minutes okay so here we have our two baked potatoes which i'm just going to prep whilst my cabbage finishes and my chicken so what you want to do just cut your potatoes and just squeeze them like so just like a jack of potato or a loaded potato if that's what you call it and leave it in the same pan that you baked them in or put them in a pan to bake them because yeah we're going to prep them and then we're going to put them in the oven we're going to get them nice and cheesy buttery oh it's going to be good so yeah just leave them in this like so get a fork and then just add a knob of butter to each one however much you add is your preference but yeah basically just enough to get it nice and mashed up so just 
just like this a top tip you could actually put it on baking paper again just because we're gonna serve this on something now when you guys see it you're gonna get exactly why I said you could put it on the baking paper but I think I should be okay I think I should be okay with it like this I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt pinch of salt pinch of pepper some salt then what I have is I have some grated cheddar cheese and I have some fresh mozzarella which I've just crumbled up into some pieces so what I'm going to do first add a little bit of mozzarella not too much just put a little bit of it just so that you can get that nice stringy goodness we're going to add some cheddar on top of that so yeah set this aside until later once our chicken is cooked so now i'm going to check again on our chicken and cabbage as you can see it's starting to get nice and tender nice and soft that's exactly what you want for it to just soak up those juices two forks turn your heat down low you could do this over the heat zoom in so you guys can see this and then that chicken look at it, it's nice and tender so this chicken will just fall off the bone so you get two forks and just pull it apart once you've got most of the chicken off of the bone just get your spoon and mix it all together like this and then we're good to go I'm going to turn up the heat so that those juices can reduce down a little more I'm going to put the bones to the side just before serving I'll remove those bones just so that it looks better but I mean for now again let's turn it up and just look at that pieces of chicken in that seasoned cabbage you know what I'm even going to remove the bones now just so that we can thicken up let me just remove these you could even keep these bones use them if you was making a gravy just mix this all up and just turn that heat up so that the juices can reduce a little bit and here is our jerk barbecue chicken look at that nice quick easy no time at all but we now need to get our potatoes in the oven to get this all melted and ready we're going to shred up two of these so i'm going to leave these two just to eat as normal and i'm going to shred these up i've also got some leftover rice and peas this is going to be a feast this is going to be good so what i'm going to say to do now is remove these two chicken pieces so that we can shred the chicken in here so then i've removed the baking paper and we've just got the chicken now so you can wait for it to cool down but because i don't want it to be like perfectly shredded it's just you know we're just pulling the meat off And if you need more chicken then you can use some of the other chicken that you have but I think I should be cool I'm just gonna move those bones to the side and then I'm just gonna mix this into the sauce like this and pull that one apart this is a little bit big two tablespoons in there 
So in the oven for five minutes and then you should be ready to serve. Finishing up everything now. So our cabbage and chicken is finished. Everything's nice and tender and all those seasonings have just been soaked up. There you have it, chicken and cabbage sauteed down and steamed, ready to serve with our rice and peas and jerk chicken. And then here are our cheesy potatoes and our shredded jerk barbecue chicken. Now the little surprise that I had for you guys is, gotta be very careful with this, is this. So you may or may not have one of these at home. If you do, it's a cast iron sizzler plate. Put this in the oven, or I think it's under the grill for five minutes to heat up whilst we get this ready. Okay, so we're gonna heat this up and then we're gonna assemble our potatoes. We've got our potatoes here. And then we also have this chicken that we've shredded. Put a spoonful on one and a spoonful on the other. Simple as that. And then we're going to serve it on top of the sizzler plate. So yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to rest this in the oven as well just to keep it like nice and hot. And then we're going to assemble. We have all our food here. We've got the steamed cabbage, the jerk barbecue chicken, rice and peas that I made the other day, so that's fun. And then our loaded jerk barbecue potatoes, which were sizzling earlier, but they've stopped now. So let me show you how good these look. I mean, The fact that I just decided this is what I'm going to make, I'm actually pretty impressed. So we've got to give it a try. Look at all that cheese. Ooh. The balloons are the 100 balloons, but we can't see them. That's why we're lower down so that we can see the food. But it's still a celebration. So, you know, pretend that you can see the 100 balloons. Right now, I probably look hot. Here's a mess. But I can't lie. This was all worth it. Especially this. This here at the front. Crazy. The flavours are crazy. And the sizzling pan just gives it that extra... Do you know what I mean? Because it's still hot, still warm. This was worthy of an 100 video. And then of course we've got to try everything else. So... This cabbage is just, I can't even describe how good it smells. It's got so much, like the butter, the thyme, everything has just soaked up all of that flavour. So let's give this a taste as well, the chicken and cabbage. Get some of the rice and peas at the same time. The silence should tell you enough. Mm. And then finally, let me even pick this up with my hands so that you guys can really, really see. The jerk barbecue chicken. I'm going to bite it right there. This one. Mm-mm. All of the flavours are just, it's giving restaurant, I'm not going to lie. And it's giving my restaurant, okay? I'm saying it with chest because everything tastes like what it's supposed to taste like and more. 
I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. I use my phone. This really was the feast for the 100th video because this here deserves a remake. I'm actually going to remake that because it was just so good. I could eat it all over again. The chicken with the steamed cabbage, the rice and peas, it just, it screams what I love, which is one, Jamaican food, two, a twist, three, flavours. I mean, who doesn't want food with flavours, seasoning? That's, this is what all of this is, well-seasoned home-cooked food. And I just wanted to say I appreciate you all so much for getting me to this mark. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for rocking with my content for this long and just for supporting me because, you know, it's been a very, very wild journey, but we're here. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. The ingredients list to all of this will be down below. There's a full video for my rice and peas on my channel, so go and look for that. Excuse me, I'm sorry, it's hot. <sighs> of course, you know, I'm down here so that you guys can really see all of this. But, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.